Children today are deeply affected by their relationship with social media. Our children today are growing up in an era that you and I may not have grown up in. I know I certainly didn't grow up addicted to social media. It's a new phenomenon and we parents don't know how to deal with it because we see our children being devoured by their addiction to social media. And as a therapist, I try to help parents negotiate this relationship in such a way that it doesn't become a cause for conflict, but becomes a portal for deeper connection. So the first thing I help parents understand is that children today are growing up on a diet of social media. So it is an inextricable part of their lives and of our lives. The first place to begin is to accept what is. To accept that this is here and it's in the now. So there's no point resisting it because our children will find a way to hide it from us. There's no point fighting it all the time because then it'll be a cause for power battles and for endless conflict. So the first thing is to accept that it's here. The second thing to enforce and understand is that there needs to be limits and boundaries. Limits and boundaries are healthy. They are the way we feel safe. Our children need limits and boundaries. I often say though that boundaries cannot be created in the spur of the moment. Boundaries need to be lived, need to be embodied. So I help parents discover what are their own boundaries with social media in their own lives. You see, parents always can be a bit hypocritical and say, well, I'm working on my phone and my kid is simply on Instagram. And when I do Instagram, it's for my work. And when they do Instagram, it's just for pleasure. Well, that's a hypocrisy. So first I point out the hypocrisy and I ask parents to dare to look at that in the face, because if we don't own the hypocrisy, our children will never respect us. They will immediately understand that this is a double standard and we don't want our children to ever feel that we're imposing on them something that we do not wish to impose on ourselves. Either it's unhealthy or it's not. We need to ask ourselves, how present are we being in our children's lives? When we eat dinner at the table, are we glued to our screen? When we are on a train, are we glued to social media? How is our relationship to social media? So it has to come from us. Now, if we have decided that we have created a healthy boundary with our own social media, now we can dare to approach our children to change their habits around social media. And I always tell parents that in order for children to leave their social media, which is so seductive, so addictive, so enticing, so entertaining, then you are going to have to create that in your relationship with them. You're going to have to be exciting and entertaining and meaningful for our children. Otherwise, why would our children leave that to come to us? If they come to us and all we do is pressure them, harangue them, ridicule them, shame them, control them, no wonder they're going to hide in social media. So this is an invitation for parents to make the relationship with our children more joyful, more connected. So our children are drawn to us rather than hiding from us. Don't look at social media as a threat. Teach your children that there is a positive aspect to it. It's not just the enemy. There's a vibrant way that we can use social media that is healthy, not in the way that is codependent. Many of us, including adults, use social media in a codependent way. You know, we post something and we do it because we are enmeshed and addicted to how many likes we get. And then we're glued to our screen. So if we use social media for that purpose, to elevate a sense of self, then we're gonna model that for our children. And our children will use social media for a sense of worth. But if we show our children that social media can be a valuable avenue and a portal for connection, then we teach them that Technology itself is a vibrant, fertile foundation for deep, worldly, global connections. So we have to be aware of how we're modeling our relationship to social media. And through our modeling, our children will absorb how to use it in a positive way rather than in this codependent, addictive way.